majority of people with defective eyesight, the corrective powers of ordinary glasses are enough to restore normal vision. But there are several side defects that glasses can only partly correct. For sufferers from these defects, the optics industry has developed in recent years the contact lens. Contact lenses are light plastic shells made to rest in the patient's eye. Contact lenses are now being made in New Zealand and their manufacture is preceded by the usual eyesight tests. As the first process of manufacture, an impression is made of the patient's eye, a mold of jelly. And into this mold is set plaster of Paris to make a contour cast in the exact shape of the eye itself. It has been the modern development of optical plastics that's made the wide manufacture and use of contact lenses possible. Plastics are easily molded and very durable. These workers are making dyes in which the plastic will be molded to fit the contour cast taken from the patient. The dyes are assembled in a metal cage and a small oblong of plastic inserted. Under pressure and heat, the plastic will be formed into a light transparent shell. Most of the equipment used in manufacture is made in New Zealand and all the workers in the new industry are trained locally. The making of each lens is a fairly lengthy business involving skilled manual work. These lenses are now available under Social Security to all those whose sight cannot be corrected by ordinary glasses. The dye cage is taken from the heating bath and the roughly formed lens is removed. The lens is about a fiftieth of an inch thick and it's ready for the long process of grinding and polishing. The lenses are ground by machine and hand to an accuracy of one hundredth of a millimeter. And for the grinding of each lens, three new tools must be manufactured. The lens is a clear shell with a raised center that will be optically ground to correct the patient's particular defect. Each lens is polished, checked and rechecked until it's a perfect fit. Usually there are five to six trial fittings before the lens is ready for daily use. The patient is ready for the final fitting. Before the lens is inserted, it's filled with a clear saline solution that will fill the gap between the raised center section and the eye pupil. Insertion is simple and in a few weeks time the patient will be able to wear the lenses continuously for six to eight hours without discomfort. For those who cannot wear glasses, and for those who have been hampered for many years by incorrectable defects, contact lenses are the latest boon of optical science.